Yo, uh, it's me, Derek Mendelson, chillin'. Uh, I wanted to begin uh, some more of my VHS reviews because I like preserving the medium of watching movies on VHS. There's sort of like a purity to the effect of the magnetic tape and when you get snow on the screen that to me is what the whole cinematic experience is all about. And uh, it's stuck with me ever since my childhood years. And I wanted to share my excitement for VHS medium cinema specifically with y'all. And I'm excited to get to go to do that now today. What uh, I wanted to start off by reviewing a little bit of a curveball to start off, which you wouldn't expect, is called um, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This is the third Star Wars movie and also the sixth. And what I what I like about it, uh, this is a, this is a VHS copy. You can you can get a VHS copy of Star Wars: Return of the Jedi at uh, maybe your local like Goodwill or some other sort of thrift type store might have some VHS copies that people left from like garage sales and stuff. You can usually get it for about two ninety nine. Uh, you might have to pay about as much as three ninety nine, depending on. Your local see your local goodwill for pricing and information um, what I like about this movie is uh, mostly the characters but the plots also interesting there's um, some special effects uh, I think it was made um, I think it was made back in the 80s so there's like some special effects and stuff that like isn't isn't how they would use special effects now, but it's still like mostly okay. Um, in terms of what happens in the movie, uh, it's kind of like the final thing. It's kind of like the final movie in like the final chapter of the story. So it's kind of hard for me to just jump right in with the characters because you wouldn't know who they are because like you wouldn't know like where they were in the beginning films. But um, basically, like. Uh, spoilers. Spoilers from here on out. Here's the part where if you don't want to hear spoilers, go to the end. I'll meet you back at the end of this video. Darth Vader dies, and um, Luke Skywalker uh, is there when it happens, and um, and uh, Han Solo... Um... You know, I don't remember what Han Solo really does in this movie. I just know that he's there, and he's kicking it, and it's cool. Uh, Lando tries some funky stuff, like, hey, I'm gonna be a palace guard now at Jabba's place. Um, Jabba gets killed, and, um, we finally get to meet the Ewoks, which is the main reason I know that the Star Wars franchise is as successful as it is. What I like the most about this movie is what it says about hard work. Dedication, follow-through, commitment, and... Putting your vision out there and seeing it through to the end. In the first movie of Star Wars, which is also the fourth movie, it's just called Star Wars, there was the Death Star. Darth Vader was building the Death Star, and it was a big battleship that also looked like a planet. And it was better than other planets because it could destroy other planets. And uh, what happened was Luke Skywalker and some rebels... Um, killed the Death Star. So there, it wasn't around after that. But um, in, in this movie, in the third and sixth movie, what Darth Vader did was he said, okay, I get that there's no more Death Star, but I'm not going to settle for that. I want there to be a Death Star. So I'm going to make another one. And he did. He didn't get all the way done. He got about halfway done. You can see on the VHS box cover right here, that like there's little like holes in the in the design in like the whole circle of, of uh, where like more battle stations should be, but they're working on it. They're work like that's the cool thing about this movie is like we don't get to see it where it's like at the beginning or where it's already done. We're like in the middle of the construction on it when we meet up with these guys and see what they're doing. Um, I don't really remember how it ends up, but I like that he followed through to his commitment to making a Death Star and he made another one. Um, 
I think their portrayal of uh, Carrie Fisher in this movie is a little bit sexist because that's like pretty revealing what she's wearing right there. Um, but they did okay in the other movies. So I guess you got to like count that against it. Uh, it, it depending. Uh, overall, I'd give this movie... Um, overall, I'd give this movie like three out of five because my rating scale is out of five and this is the third movie. So I thought that was appropriate. I liked it a lot. It's definitely not my favorite of all movies though. There's other movies that are better than this one. But you really ought to give Star Wars Return of the Jedi, um, you know, give it a look-see. Uh, find it at your local Goodwill, thrift store, uh, uh, vintage, um, you know, like old school video shops. Support local businesses. See if you've got like an old video shop, like old video rental or owning shop uh, in your like local community and stuff. But uh, but definitely support that. Check it out. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Again, it's me, Derek. Uh, be sure to um, throw down in the comment box below. Hit like. Uh, do, do subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I'll definitely see you guys later. So I really appreciate it. And now uh, you guys take care.